folks, welcome to TNT. I'm T-Bone. And I'm Mrs. T. Together, we are TNT. We're going to show you around the boat there a little bit. We've got a few things to do, so y'all stick around. We're going to try to improve this. It needs some improvement. It's a mess. <laughs> we really could use some help, y'all. Come on. Let's go see if we can do a little something. Well, as you can see, these seats are pretty torn up. And they don't go all the way to the gate. So we're going to, we've already got most of the pieces in. We ordered new interior for it. Uh, we're going to do a full L shape across there and all the way up to the gate. And hopefully that's going to help this. Later down the road, we're going to do something with this floor. This old boat's 89. I'm 91. sorry. 91. And the motor is a. 2001. Okay. Anyway, it's a Mercury four stroke. Somebody hung on the back. They painted this floor. Golly, this thing's a mess. So it's dark under here and we wanted to do some kind of improvement. I made these rod holders here with uh, some PVC. See if I can get back here without tripping on something. And they hold those up there real nice. But we're gonna put some lighting around the inner edge of this, some LED strips. And then our other issue is we need some dock lights we're going to mount under here somewhere so you can see when you drive on the trailer i did add on these inner long boards back there it helps in windy situations get your boat loaded right up yeah, i told you it was a mess they painted all over the aluminum and everything but whoever had this they mounted this tubing directly down on the channel so it holds water other than inside of the doors so these spacers, there should be a picture coming up on the screen. We're going to put some spacers and raise this up with some spacers. And for all the bolts, we bought brand new stainless steel bolts we're going to put in. So let's get started and see if we can get this thing fixed.
one side almost done right here in the front we're not going through the aluminum and also so i've got to find some new bolts longer than what were there and then over at the gate our i had completely forgot about these but the cross the little short bolts well they are only whoops like this but we got to have them enough longer to accommodate those three eight spacers or however thick they are so anyhow we're going to continue on and see if we get this other side done well we went digging and found some bolts so we got the front done and we got the other side done and all put back together so it's about to get dark on us so i think we're going to call it a night and tomorrow we're going to start on those docking lights and some hopefully cool looking led lights around the edge of the roof there so we can see what we're doing when we're fishing well it rained on us all morning it's after one o'clock in the afternoon finally cleared up now it's sunshine i got one of these lights on i hooked them up to a battery in the shop boy these things are bright i still got to work on this other side still got to finish that there's some old wires hanging under here i'm gonna take my voltmeter and we'll see if uh, the switch actually sends power up here i know that wire and i don't know if it's any good or not but we're gonna find out all right folks so i don't know if these are any good or not we're gonna find out this is what i ordered off that uh jungle website that um you know them jungle people amazon and we're gonna put these around the inside of this roof and it was really corroded and really rough so what i'm doing is sanding this down clean and then my wife she's gonna go wipe it all off with alcohol and what i'm using is one of these little old harbor freight deals and we go wood wooden and it's got a little sanding disc so we're going around and make sure all this is clean and smooth before we install these lights so that they stick very good <laughs> by the way these little tools are really really inexpensive believe it or not is either seven twelve thirteen dollars or something that's all these things cost so mrs t is wiping this all down inside with alcohol so hopefully the doggone thing sticks i can't keep up with her she's so fast okay so what i did here we just got everything out of the package you get one of these things with your wires there's some clampy down things they do have sticky backs i guess that's if you cut them there's uh the remote instructions no nah, we don't need that mess now nah, what we did we went ahead and unrolled it like they said they come on a reel there was two in the package so I just draped them up along the roof and you can see I just you can see how they're just hanging there. What we're gonna do is test. I'm gonna plug them up right there and then go down to a battery and test to see if they actually work first. Okay, we just got them strung up around here just as a temporary test, make sure everything's working and make sure that you know uh we're gonna be happy with this. So Anyhow, remember, this is just temporary. Doggone, these things are dark. Y'all stick around. We're going to show you how it looks once it gets dark. Y'all can't see nothing, can you? Told you it's dark out here. That's the golf cart lights I just cut on. Y'all stand by. Let's see what's going to happen. All right, here we go. Let's try these docking lights. I'm going to flip the switch. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. Might need some aiming, but boy, they working. So here we are standing right by the boat. It is pitch black dark. Here we go. Holy cow. Now, of course, they're still hanging. We haven't stuck them up there yet. It lights that thing up. Unbelievable. Man, I can't wait to stick those up on the roof. This is going to be awesome, man. We get to see. Let's go fishing. T-Bone Mrs. T going fishing.
they're getting wet. Well, folks, we decided it was too pretty a day to not go to the lake. We didn't get the lights stuck up yet. We'll do that maybe tomorrow. But we got Mrs. T right here, captain of the ship today. Hi, y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yes, sir. Y'all come back to see us, folks, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Coming up.